So true story, I actually did watch Ghost once, um, but the camera glitched and stuff, so I couldn't use any of the footage. Um, but I thought it was pre-recorded because I was like, his mouth isn't even moving. Like, why would I think this was live? Took me too long to figure out he had a mask on. <laughs> Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Hello, wonderful humans of the internet. How are we? My name is Sam Scott Thorne and I am a vocal coach based in Glasgow. Now, if you'd like to meet and explore your voice a little more, you can find me on sstvocals.com. You can also find me on Patreon and various other social media platforms, and I'll put the handles down below and over there. Over there. Just there. It's over there. Uh. Now, if you'd like to consider becoming a patron, you have access to things like early release of reactions, you can fast track reactions, become a reaction, to special roles on my Discord server, and you have access to all sorts of bonus content, like my Vocal Anatomy 101 series, where you learn how the voice works. So consider becoming a patron and help shape my channel. Okay, we are gonna go and take a listen to a band called Ghost. Um, I have got my Ghost Cat mug for the occasion. Did I spill stuff? Possibly, oops. Uh, so let's just go and take a wee listen. I did, as I said, listen to them before, but it was a good few years ago now, so I have forgotten everything. So let's take a wee trip down memory lane. <laughs> this is their album, it's called Impera from the Mountain View Mausoleum with the song Call Me Little Sunshine, Ghost. <laughs> Right, this guy's voice is just so twangy, it's unreal. Twang comes from two places, you can have oral twang or nasal twang. I think what we're hearing here is a lot of oral twang. That is, over our vocal folds we have an epiglottis. It shuts over the vocal folds when we swallow so that nothing goes down into our windpipe when we're eating, drinking, whatever. But one thing that we can do with that epiglottis is bring it over the vocal folds but not over and shut. Um, what happens then is the airflow will condense between the vocal folds and the epiglottis and it will supercharge those vocal folds. The air will come back down on top, compress everything and the tone you get out of that is super compressed, really, really loud and really kind of sharp. It makes a specific frequency between two and four kilohertz, which is the resonant frequency of the ear canal, which is why it sounds super loud when it's not necessarily really loud by actual volume. That was super sciencey, but you can get a full big rundown of it on uh, Patreon. I've put a video up there explaining twang. The other type of twang is nasal twang. That is our velum or soft palate coming down to meet the back of our tongue here and you get a mm kind of sound. So the airflow is coming out of the nose and nowhere else. If we raise that just slightly, but not so far back that it shuts the nasal cavity off, you get mm right? So that is nasal twang, where the tone is coming through our mouth and our nose at the same time. It's a slightly more compressed sound, it's not as punchy as the oral twang, but if we were to apply both at the same time, you get that kind of sound, which is really, really kind of compressed and punchy at the same time. I feel that's what he's doing. I in the middle of the night. It's really, really sharp to the ear, um, but again, it just commands attention, fantastic. Nice. 
nice. I love how intense his vowel sounds are. Sunshine! Everything has this like super big twist from the vowel that comes before it and it gives such a heavy movement to that sound. Really, really cool. Back in singer's no joke either. That like, oh, really, really heavy on the kind of operatic but without a lot of the weight. So it just gives you this super swimmy kind of sound. Really, really nice. Heavy vibrato, gorgeous tone, beautiful. And a really nice contrast against his like super twangy sound. You've got this like not twangy sound to kind of bounce off of. One's kind of floaty and swimmy. And the other one's like a concentrated laser beam. I'm getting a little bit too abstract in my uh, descriptions, am I? Anyway, fantastic. I'm gonna say that a lot, I think. from the brain and transform in differently you will never walk alone you can always reach me you will never ever walk alone little I tell you something, this is such an interesting case of watching something live but having like 70% of my like job taken away from me. Because this mask is so well fitted to his face, it stays kind of steady so I can't really see like drops in jaw, I can't see him spread his lips, I can't see his purse his lips. I can't really see where he's gonna anchor because of the way he's like standing. I'm assuming that he's kind of anchored throughout because it's quite an intense sound he's making and that's why he's so stoic in his delivery. Anchors are where we basically use muscle grips to steady the larynx so that we can do more intense voicing without buckling our voice basically. You have neck anchors and torso anchors and I feel like he's using them, um, but again, I can't super tell that he is. So it's almost like I should just listen to it. I should just close my eyes because all I'm doing is looking into those like bright pinhole contact lenses. And it's so like, I mean, that's super intense in itself, but I'm assuming what he's doing with his jaw is where he's making these bigger sounds. I feel like the jaw is going to open up in order to create more resonance. Um, that is what experience would tell me. Um, but it's interesting not being able to actually see it happen. It's crazy. You'll never walk alone. You can always Ooh. reach me. You will never ever walk alone. Interestingly, that was a little deviation from the tone that he's been using so far. You will never walk alone. That went right up into his nasal passage and nowhere else. If I was to pinch his nose, walk along, it would just cut out. Walk along. It's like really super nasal sounding. It's interesting that when we're going to take a paired back approach, like this is like this little bit before it kicks back in, I'd assume. His go-to is just to drop the twang and go straight up into his nose. So he's keeping that kind of compressed sound, um, but he's lost the intensity. It's very interesting. So that kind of does tell me that he does employ oral and nasal twang when he's in his like full, full force singing. Great. You can never walk alone. You can always reach me.
I love it. That was amazing. That band are amazing. The the power, the intensity, the the vibe even. It's just like it's spooky. It's out out there. It's like nothing I've heard before. It's grand. It kind of reminds me of like the song that should be in a montage for like the Lost Boys. You know that film from the eighties. I don't know why that imagery has popped into my head, but that is where I'm at. Anyway, if you feel like that, if I've struck a nerve with that comment, let me know because you're weird like me and we should be friends. So I hope you liked that reaction. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more from me, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and anytime I have new content, you will be the first to know. So I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me and how are we going to buy this one then? It's going to have to be twangy, I know that much. So I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me and um, if you like this video then hit like and if you like this video then subscribe. <laughs> I got a bit of work to do on my twang. Eh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Bye.